thank you for your invitation. Treatment of age-rated macular degeneration is time-consuming for both patients and doctors. Uh, paradoxically, most of the time is consumed by never-ending diagnostics. Uh, currently, about 50, 70 million people uh, has uh, AMD, and uh, in Poland, 136,000 individuals suffer from executive AMD. 20% is treated uh, with anti OGF, 20 more in private clinics, so about 40% is really good uh, uh, treated. Uh, the aim of this study was to optimize the management algorithm of intravitreal injections of antivascular endothelial growth factor based on optical coherence uh, tomography and angio CT in age rated macular degenerations. Uh, we chose two groups. Uh, one group, no vascularization under the level of pigment epithelium, and second group, no vascularization over the level uh, pigment epithelium. But of course, uh, we could. Uh, create another group, but to simplify, uh, we choose two groups. And what is the most uh, important, uh, in first group, uh, there is uh, one injection in two months. And in second group, three injections, uh, one injection uh, uh, in three months. So the difference is uh, uh, clearly visible. Um, I uh, performed 2,000 uh, angio CT in last year, and uh, I used mainly uh, Topcon 3D OCT and uh, angio CT also by Topcon. Uh, in this chart, this frequency of, of injection is clearly visible. The difference is uh, really easy to, to find. Results. Uh, no statistically significant difference were observed between groups. Uh, demography, age, gender, visual acuity, central uh, retinal thickness, mean number of administrative injections or type of a drug, mean follow-up time. In first group, a cold novascular membrane, uh, the retina is in good condition. Uh, visual acuity is really good because uh, ill is really choroid, not retina, in the very beginning. In swept source, uh, we see small changes, but in NGO CT, everything is clearly visible. Of course, not in every patient, uh, we have such good situations that it is easy to, to find this membrane. Uh, in second eye, the retina is a little involved, uh, fluid is uh, visible under retina, and visual acuity is a little worse. But in first group, that is for us the most important, retina is in a good uh, condition. Second type, this membrane is much greater. Uh, in first group summary, uh, anti ogf injections were obligatory in two months intervals. In some cases with subretinal fluid accumulation and enlargement of neovascular membrane, six, seven week intervals seem to be more suitable. A great number of OCT scans may be avoided in this group of patients and intervals between injections are constant. The drugs with greater penetration of a molecule under retina pigment epithelium, which take a long, uh, longer to work, are needed. The standard deviation of the frequency of administrative injections was 0 0.58. And the second group, uh, retina is mainly involved. This first eye was lost, really, vision. But in second eye, uh, changes are not in center, uh, visible very clearly in swept source. Uh, Membrane is visible. Flow is not clearly visible in the center of the membrane, but uh, is really good visible in uh, apex of this, of this uh, membrane. Uh, but what is the most important in this group, um, 
Injections are uh, completely unpredictable. Sometimes uh, gaps between injections uh, takes uh, uh, a long time. Sometimes uh, this period is very short. So summary in this second group. Now, vascular membrane located mainly above the level of pigment epithelium is often related to decreased number of required intravitreal anti ogf injections. The possible causes proposed by authors are formation of scars that prevents vascular leakage, easier penetration of a drug molecule into the photosensitive retina, in rape, for instance. The OCT examination is required once a month or, and justified by changeable frequency of injections. And standard deviation of the frequency of administrative injections um, was uh, 1.75 months. No vascular membrane located mainly above the pigment epithelium needs more frequent OCT examination but less frequent injections. Heterogeneity of AMD etiology in this group results in less predictable disease scores. Uh, our goals are division of executive AMD patients based on practical aspects, optimization of the diagnostics and therapeutic algorithm, reduction of diagnostic costs, improvement of treatment efficiency in patients with executive AMD. If patients in second group receive an emergency call number in case of sudden visual deterioration. In first group, it's, it's not a problem because these injections are in the same periods. Uh, and in our opinion, take home message is patients with acute CNV need regular and frequent anti ogf injections. Uh, also, other kind of nevascularization um, that are under pigment epithelium, I think, uh, uh, have the same pattern. The intervals of anti ogf injections, called CNV, proposed by us are six, seven weeks because the subretinal fluid is not yet accumulated in these cases. In optimization process of the management algorithm of anti ogf treatment, more studies are needed. Uh, occult CNV is often an early stage of executive AMD without retinal damage. Uh, monitoring of a size of CNV membrane is more efficient than central uh, retinal thickness. And novel diagnostics methods make uh, classification to these groups easier. And uh, uh, in the very beginning, this bird uh, hunted one worm, but after it, uh, his children were hungry, uh, had to improve uh, his uh, uh, work. Thank you very much. <laughs>